CSS animation is really becoming very popular on the web today and it's really taken place of Flash because Flash used to be used for animation for so long but now with the CSS3 it gives you a lot more options to go in and start to move things around on a page again without having that Flash plugin needed uh, or any large files. So what I'm going to show you today is just two separate uh, simple ways to animate using CSS. You can get a lot more complex with it, but this will just kind of get you started. I'm going to use Dreamweaver, but you could use pretty much any type of um, editor. You could use text edit. You could use Sublime. A lot of people have different preferences. I'm going to use Dreamweaver, though. There's really no difference in this uh, other than just kind of the way that it marks up the text. So I'm going to start with that. All right. So the first thing that I want to do is go into the head and actually just start to lay out the CSS. So I'm going to put a little bit of space in between the head up here, and I've already got the code pre-made just to in the, save a little bit of time here, um, but I'm going to explain what I'm doing here. First, I'm just going to create my style tag, so I'm going to define the style, and I'm going to go ahead and close it out because I tend to forget to close these things out. All right, so Dreamweaver already closed that out for me there. That's good. All right, so in between there, I'm going to add a div tag. I'm just going to style a simple div tag. Now, yours could be a graphic. It could be a uh, more of a class or an ID, but I'm going to start with just a simple div tag here. So you see I've got the div, and then I open curly bracket, close curly bracket. And what I'm doing here is I'm just going to create a square. Again, just for this example here, I'm going to create a square that's a uh, width of 100 pixels, a height of 100 pixels, has a background color of red. I could change the color of this if I wanted to. But here's the part to start to pay attention to that will actually be animating my project. This dash webkit and dash animation, given the class of uh, animate box, 5S. What that means is I can create any type of uh, variable here. Animate box is my, for instance, this could be anything else. This could be um, animate text. It could be just text. It could be anything. So that's just the name that I'm giving it here. Animate box. And I'm going to set it for five seconds. That's how long that this is going to take to animate from start to finish. Now I've got a little comment tag here. This is for if you're using Chrome, Safari, or Opera. That is what uh, will interpret this code right here. Any of the other browsers, you can just use animation and then give it that same variable that we gave it, animate box. Um, again, it doesn't matter what it is as long as it's consistent. And it has the same five seconds right there. So what that's going to do is it's going to put a square on my page as soon as I add the div tag within the body. One other thing I want to do is I want to actually set the animation. So I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this into here too. And I've got this for download on the website, so you can always take a closer look at it if I'm going too fast for you. I'm going to put a little more space in there. All right, this is where things get a little bit different if you're used to CSS, but you're not used to some of the additional classes that are available now in CSS3. Uh, this little ampersand sign, or excuse me, the at sign up here, uh, WebKit keyframes. Animate box. Again, animate box is just the name that I came up with for this. It's the same name that's up there. Just make sure that's the same. And basically, all I'm saying here is from, I'm going to start from one point here. I want to add this class of a background of red to change to animate to a background of yellow. Now, again, just like we did up here in our div tag, this first one was just for Chrome and Safari and Opera. Uh, that's what this is for right here. This one down here is for the other, the remaining browsers, where it's just uh, the at symbol keyframes, just like the at, just the regular animation up here. And again, I got the same styles going on down here. Now again, if you're used to CSS, you could apply different styles within here. You could add borders, you could add um, whatever other kind of style. You could start to round the corners, you can make circles, whatever. Again, I'm just kind of keeping it simple here. And this is all you need to really start yourself out with animation with the exception of actually placing an object in the body. So all I have to do here is just go down into the body. I'm going to add a little bit of space between the opening and closing tag. I can just simply say div and then close it out. Because again, up in our styles here, I just labeled anything that is a div within the body. We'll get that width and height of 100 pixels, the background color, and then give it the animation. So if I click into the body here, again, Dreamweaver, that's how this works. Uh, this, I will get the square, be able to see it. It's not going to actually animate until I preview it in a browser. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and save this. 
I'm gonna save this to my desktop here. I'll just call it Animate and save it. And now I can go ahead and preview it in a browser. I'm gonna open this one up in Safari and test it out. And you can see if I would have counted there over the course of five seconds, this changed from red to yellow. So it went and actually animated. Now I could change this to something a little bit more drastic, like 10 seconds, and it take a little bit longer to do. Now I'm gonna save this and we can preview it again. And you can see that's slowly changing from red to yellow. All right, and again, just to kind of prove how the animation's working here, I can change it to just one second, and you should probably just barely see this actually animate. So I'm gonna preview that, and there you go. All right, so that's the very basic of animating using CSS. Again, there's no graphics here. This is just CSS, laying out the object on the in the body of the page here, and then animating it. Now you can take it a little bit further and actually move it around as well. You don't have to just do colors. That's just what I chose to do here. So let's say I wanted to actually go in and start to move this square around. Again, this could be text. Maybe you've seen this in rotating banners where the text comes flying in from the side or maybe a graphic comes in. Uh, this could just as easily be a graphic but I'm going to change up my information here to give it just a little bit more interest. And again, I'm going to copy and paste some of this information. I'm going to give this a position so I can actually say where this box is going to be specifically on the page. Uh, position relative is all we need for this one. And I'm going to change out my styles for this animation here. I'm going to explain what's going on in here. All right, so it should look pretty much the same. We've still got the at dash webkit dash keyframes, and then it's got the same variable that I gave it animate box. Should still be the same as what's up there, so everything's matching up here. Instead of going from the from to to, I'm actually giving it percentages of where to be on the stage at this point, 25% at 50%, and how much time it's actually gonna take here I'm going to change back to five seconds just so it takes a little more time and you can actually see the animation going on here. But you can see now at 0%, I'm going to say at the very beginning, give it a background color of red, give it the left of 0 and top of 0. That means it's going to be aligned just like you see how it is here in the window. Um, and that's why we give it that position of relative here. Then at 25% of whatever time that I've set up here for five seconds, that's about just over a second, at 25% of that time in, change the background color to yellow and then move it over 200 pixels and stay flush with the top. Halfway through in about two and a half seconds, you'll see the box turn blue, move to the right 200 pixels and move down from the top 200 pixels. So you kind of get the idea here at 75% at 100% what's going to be going on. This basically is going to go in a circle in a square motion um, all around the stage and then come back to the very beginning. Again, this is just a copy of what's up here, but it's doing it for the other browsers. Now, there's nothing new that I have to add down here because I'm still just using my div tag to place this in the body and to see the animation. So let's go ahead and save the document and I'm going to preview it in Safari again. And there you go, you see that it's moving and changing color. That whole thing, if I would have timed it, that would have taken five seconds to do. Now again, let's go ahead and change this just so that you can see the difference in time. I'll say 10 seconds. I'll save my document and preview it again. So it's going a lot slower. So it should be taking about two seconds per color change. There you go. So again, those are just the basics of animating with CSS. You can do a lot more with it, but this was just kind of an intro to get your feet wet with it. Play around with it, see some of the different things that you can do. Again, you can use text, you can use graphics, or you can just use uh, colored boxes in here. A lot of options with CSS3. Mm -hmm.